let's take a look at this problem. So suppose a point mass of mass equals five kilograms. is located at the point 1, 2, negative 1. Where all coordinates are in meters. Let f equal f of x, y, and z. Be the gravitational force field that m exerts on a mass of 2 kilograms at any point in R3. other than the point 1, 2, negative 1. So what are the values for f of 0, 0, 0? f of 1, 2, 0? And f of 2, 4, 5? Okay, so the most important thing to remember here is what exactly gives us the gravitational force. So let me write down the equation. So here's my function to find gravitational force. And here g is the universal gravitation constant. I'm just going to leave it as g because it's a really long scientific notation number that kind of sucks. And then I have big M, which is the mass that's exerting the force. So in this case, that's going to be 5. I have little m, which is the mass of the thing that the force is being exerted on. So here that's going to be 2. And then d, which is the vector uh, from big M to little m, and then divided by the magnitude of d cubed. Okay, so a few of these we already know. Big M and little m are 2 and 5, other way around. Um, so I'm going to go and put those in. 2 times 5 is 10. So that is going to be a little bit easier to work with. And now we just need to figure out the d vector for each of these three points. Let's start with the origin. So to find the vector, I'm going to subtract this location from the location of big M. So here that's pretty easy because the vector is just going to end up being 1, 2, negative 1. And now let's find its magnitude. Well, remember that the magnitude is the square root of the sum of the squares of each term in the vector. So here I have the square root of 1 plus 4 plus 1. So the square root of 6. And let's go ahead and plug those into that equation for force. So I have 10g over, well, the magnitude cubed, the square root of 6 cubed is going to be 6 square roots of 6. And then I want to multiply that by my vector. So 1, 2, negative 1. OK, so that's my first one. Now let's move on to 1, 2, 0. So here I have the same thing. First, I want to subtract the location of big M from this location. So 1, 2, negative 1 minus 1, 2, 0.
So the first two terms are going to cancel each other out, and so I'm left with the vector 0, 0, negative 1. Well, that's going to be pretty easy to find the magnitude of. I only have one component, and it's one meter. So the magnitude of d is going to be 1. So let's go ahead and plug these things in. So I have 10g divided by, this time it's only 1, times that vector. So I have 10g times the vector 0, 0, negative 1. Now let's do 2, 4, 5. Again, start off the same way. Subtract the position of m from, or subtract this position from the position of m. So I have 1 minus 2, which is going to give me negative 1. 2 minus 4, which gives me negative 2. And negative 1 minus 5, which is going to give me negative 6. Now let's go ahead and find this magnitude. So I have the square root of 1 plus 4 plus 36, or the square root of 41. Now let's go ahead and find that gravitational force. So I have 10g over, this time I'm going to have 41 square roots of 41, right? Because that's the magnitude cubed. And then let's multiply that by my vector, negative 1, negative 2, negative 6. Okay, so now that's it. I have my three gravitational forces at 0, 0, 0, at 1, 2, 0, and at 2, 4, 5.